Hi, it's Deanna, and today I'm going to show you an antique wooden changing screen. And this was probably made in the 1890s. And uh, here goes my dog. He wants to uh, investigate. And uh, this was probably made sometime around the 1890s. And this one on a table. So it's not like one of those tall Japanese tile, uh, style screens that was about six to seven feet tall. This particular one went on top of a table. So it was a table tabletop screen. And when a lady, <laughs> there goes Grover, when a lady was changing her clothing um, in a small tenement type of house or what have you, in a house that a lot of people lived in and they didn't have that many rooms and they couldn't go changing in other rooms, this particular little partition helped a lady or someone who was modest uh, cover up behind the screen. So um, by putting it on a table, since it's only about three feet or four feet tall, I haven't measured it by the way, um, you can hide behind it and uh, huddle behind it so nobody can see you. So it was a modesty screen and it was hand painted. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, it has some kind of scenes. It looks, I don't know if this is biblical or uh, something like that, but it looks like a French scene. Like uh, you, we have French roses painted on it and it appears uh, this scene is some kind of like lady with her hands up in the air and some kind of lady with a veil. I don't know what that's all about. And then you see the hand painted flowers and you can see all the workmanship in the wood. And I don't know if this is Oriental or European. You can see it, it's carved. So this wood has carving in it and it's hinged. And then, so the next scene on the panel is of roses and it's beautiful, beautiful Victorian roses. And you can see the hand painting. Now the next panel we have is also quite pretty. And let me just move this a moment. And it's a lady on a rowboat. And there's flowers and a tree. And there's roses that go around the border. It's almost like a cartouche fancy border going around it. <clears throat> and you see roses. Oh, my soup is done. But that can wait a minute. And you see the carving. So it might be Japanese. I see a lot of like things that like uh, are oriental in style. And then the last panel is of roses again. And they're really beautiful. They're very Victorian. So this is very, very artistic. This gigantic panel is basically like art. If you look at it, it's like artistic. Then when you turn this panel around, let me turn it around. I'm trying to do this with one hand, mind you. Not very easy. And so when you turn it around, you have this. Let me close it just slightly. And here comes my dog again, investigating. Don't pee on it, Kenji. And the back is just exquisite. I don't know if you can see that workmanship, but look at that. The panels have carved sort of designs going throughout it and we have more carved designs look at that absolutely exquisite isn't that amazing so i don't know if this is oriental or french or european <laughs> my dog is coming over to me and licking me right now so you figure this was really a cool thing his fur is floating past me right now. My dog is funny. So, uh, and then again, so you can flip the screen to two different sides. So you got the painted side and then you got the carved side. So I thought I'd share this with you guys. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And if you know what country of origin this is, or if you know any more information about these old screens, I would really, really, really love to, uh, Here's some information about it in the comments below. So thank you for watching. Bye for now.